How would you like to dive into the mind of a young and upcoming visionary? How would you like to view the works from a learning student's perspective? Today's guest will talk about his inspirations and work that will lead him into the industry. The Humanities Mass Communications Department at Nova Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our host, Lucas Duffy, to meet the next new director. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. All the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet on the show are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student has written and directed four different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves and the productions they've created and give you the chance to get to know them and enjoy some of the work they've done during the semester. Our guest today is a film and television production student who is new to the world of the media industry and wants to excel in a career he thinks is best suited for his talents. We would like you to meet today's guest, Lynn Nicholas. How are we doing? How are you doing, man? Pretty Great. good. Um, so what made you want to pursue the career of a filmmaker? Um, growing up, I always knew that I was a very creative person. I used to draw, write, and animate a lot of stuff as a kid, as a teenager, mm -hmm. and now. So. I decided to take all those skills that I've learned over the years with my creativity and, you know, go into an industry that I really thought was fit for me and my talents. Mm -hmm. um, here's a couple of my drawings. Uh, that's Spider-Man. That's a character I made up, uh, a lot of characters I made up for write writings and stuff like that. Um, that's a dinosaur and a girl hiding behind the tree. And that's Jason. Yes. The most famous of all slashers. That's my favorite. Um, that's a velociraptor attacking a uh, poor man. Some more velociraptors. I was really into dinosaurs and stuff growing up, so that's what I ended up drawing. Every especially, kid was at one point. Yeah, especially comics and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a death claw. And there's actually um, a book that I wrote in eighth grade. I won an award for in my Bridge Post School. And here's one of my animations that I made within the last year. This was for um, a school project. Never really came to fruition, unfortunately, but eventually I'm going to finish this one because I thought this one was pretty cool. This is a trailer for it, actually. Um, it's about like people going against robots and stuff like that. Very cool. And the next one was, uh, I think it was about a comic book hero that everyone's quite familiar with. Um, my favorite one, actually, this is um, the Parker series. This was about Spider-Man. Uh, this is a short intro to the ARM series. I used very simple editing skills and stuff like that, pans and stuff like that. And I hadn't even known what to do yet. I was just like, you know, visually going through everything. So that's how that turned out. I'm eventually going to finish both those projects and put them out on YouTube sometime. That'd be great. I'll check them out. Word. Can you tell us why you decided to take this course in particular? Um, I, try, I decided to take this course in particular because NCC offered this course and I was like, well, this is definitely what I'm going to get into. Um, I needed to save money and I needed to, because um, I wasn't going to go to another school, so I was going to like, all right, let me save this money, let me get into this course and let me find a way to um, get some knowledge of this stuff in before I even get there and um, find a way into like an internship or something like that, you know? Yeah. What are some of the things you learned in the course? Um, some of the things I learned in the course, you know, entail like lines of grace, converging lines, tilt, truck, vectors, and avid editing, you know, stuff, simple stuff, camera angles. Uh, I had n n known none of that stuff coming into this. When I was making my productions, I was kind of lost. But at the same time, I had taken what I learned from class and I incorporated it into all my productions. Awesome. Can you tell us about some of the projects you've done, like the, uh, the Student Studies Teacup Project, Nature, and Orange? Word. Okay, so the Student Studies Project was my first ever pr production using real life people. So that was a new one for me. Um, I used my brother for this one. He was my first victim when I did this. Um, 
This one used very simple camera angles and stuff like that. Uh, hand in, hand out techniques. Um, it had a simple objective, very scripted. So this one was a little easier than the other ones, especially development wise. Um, I learned how to storyboard things and script things. So that actually came in handy more than I thought it ever would because I never used that before. This is the Tika project, use the same stuff. Um, but instead of this project, I didn't exactly have tea bags and a kettle, so we went and used a kettle rig and K-cups. And we finessed this one. He did great, I uh, love my brother, man. He really puts in a lot of work for a guy who doesn't, he's only 12 years old and he doesn't really know exactly what he's doing, but he does it without trying to smile at least. Um, he did a pretty decent job. That's good. Yep. Now, this is a nature project. I went out to Lake Mohegan and Fairfield to go shoot this one. Really beautiful spot, yeah, really great sites out there. You know, I had a, some time, like, you know, I didn't have enough time to do this one. So I was like, all right, let me go out there real quick before work and let me go get some just nice, beautiful shots just to show people. And that's what I did. And it came out pretty nice. I had scouted the place before because I was making a, um, a, a, another film that comes out, well, we're going to start filming that one in the summertime. Mm. And my friend wanted to do. He also wants to be a filmmaker. He goes to um, UConn. It's Stanford. always fun to make videos with your friends. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Man. Best people to do it with. So, yeah, really beautiful shots out here. Mm -hmm. And this is the Orange Project. Now, the Orange Project was the most interesting because the development process for this, this one was supposed to turn out as a really, really nice looking production. Unfortunately, because of casting and stuff like that, I had to use my brother again as a victim, I mean, <clears throat> talent for this mm -hmm. production. And once again, he came out, he did his thing. It was close to, you know, midnight and stuff like that. So we just banged it out after I came home from work and this is what happened. And he did a great job with acting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I really feel the emotion in that. Oh yeah. Can you tell us about your best project you've done? My best project, I feel, was the Orange Project because that one I had a lot of creative freedom with. Um, I had never had creative freedom with the other projects, uh, besides the Nature Project, but the other projects were more scripted and controlled. So the creative control in this one was just off the charts and I just made whatever I wanted to make using the Orange, of course. Mm -hmm. And that, it, it came out pretty well for you know, the project it was. I'm very appreciative of the work my brother put in for all the productions. Um, a lot of work went into these things. Use the simple editing, stuff like that. Um, that's it. That's really it. He came out and did his best. And we made something pretty nice out of it. Give me a little more info on that sword there. That sword is a sword that looks real, but it isn't sharp. It's a stainless steel sword. It's from, I think, 47 Ronin. And I got it because it just looks so, so damn cool, man. It was, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. That's actually, this scene's supposed to lead into a, a fight scene with the thief of the oranges, oh. you know? So that was going to be like a really flashy fight, um, a lot of crazy looking stuff in that one. So yeah. Awesome. So what would you say are the most important skills you've learned throughout the entirety of this course? I can't, I, can't even sit, I can't even single out some of the most important things because every skill I learned here was the most important skill. I came in here not knowing close to nothing mm -hmm. to, when it comes to film and television production. So the things that the professor taught me, I'm very grateful for. And I'm going to use that to make more um, content in future. And hopefully we're going to get some internships and get our foot in the door for you know, future success. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah. Good to hear that. Today we got to meet someone who shared with us their love for the arts and ambition to be successful in the industry. As a new TV director, he hopes to apply what he has learned here at NCC to produce premium, premium videos and more content. He also plans to use the new knowledge from TV One to find an internship, a gateway to future opportunities. We would like to thank Lynn Nicholas for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. No problem. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you and have a great day.
This has been The New Directors with your host, Lucas Duffy, directed by Ashley Montavon. I am your announcer, Lovens Jed. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production. This is a little bit more scripted.